you're um, doing pretty well. And, and uh, it's one thing to be the dean of a law school, which is a big job and it um, uh, uh, has its own rewards. It's something else entirely to come and build a law school out of whole cloth. Why did you decide to do that? What an amazing opportunity, though. There won't be another university of this caliber to create a law school in my lifetime. And so much of what we've been able to achieve is because we're part of the University of California and part of the University of California, Irvine, that so many other universities that try to create law schools, and even if they had the resources you were willing to invest, couldn't have succeeded because they don't have the reputation and they don't have the resources of the University of California. So what an incredible opportunity to be part of creating something that will be here long after I'm gone. And it's just been everything that I could have hoped for in that way. And so it was the ability then we could recruit terrific faculty to come. And once we had that group of core faculty, it made it much easier to recruit the next group and the next group so that by now, seven years into it, we're having top faculty at top 20 schools calling us and saying, would you have a position that I can come there? The students the, that we had by virtue of the scholarships and the publicity of it, 2,800 applicants for 60 slots. We accepted 110 students and 60 came. And we had students turn down Berkeley and Stanford and Chicago and Duke and NYU to come to a new law school that could then set the caliber of the students at that level. And that too took a financial risk because your office was willing to say, okay, even if we can't raise all the money, you would back up our ability to do it. And that's then translated, even in the hardest time in legal history for recruiting students in terms of downturn applications, are being able to keep and increase the quality because of where we started. The first step, of course, was to identify people. And we set at the very highest level the people we were looking for. We wanted people who we knew to be terrific scholars and teachers in the prime of their career. We didn't want to hire a faculty that wanted to come here to retire. The pitch to them was, come, let's be part of creating the ideal law school. They were part of the University of California. We have a commitment of resources. Let's do it. And so I think that that was, you let me pr say we could match anyone's current salary, mm -hmm. which no one's going to take a pay cut, however wonderful <laughs> the, the geography is. Um, and that became really important. I remember at one point going to you, we had made an offer to somebody at a very top law school, um, and his salary was quite extraordinary. And your response was, Yes, you can offer that, but don't do too many of those. <laughs> uh, and it turned out he didn't come. But um, the ability to match salaries, certainly mm -hmm. also the, the geographic area that um, we, I remember in February, brought everybody who we were trying to recruit to come, just spent a weekend on campus. And um, for those who are coming from places like Michigan and Minnesota and Boston, it was, it was very attractive. I think that helped. Most of all, though, it was come be part of a terrific university in this great effort. The hardest thing that we found in recruiting the faculty was that no one wanted to commit until they saw who else was committing. Mm -hmm. And there was a real collective action problem there. Mm -hmm. And we held a lunch in New York when the Association of American Law Schools was meeting where again, everybody was talking to us together so they could excite each other. We brought everybody in February. And not surprisingly... Yeah, you brought, you brought the... Um, recruits together. Right. Yeah, that was a brilliant idea. No. Yes. And it was necessary so they could all, d and it's not surprising that most of our commitments of the founding faculty came within the same few days. It's once we got some people to commit, others were more comfortable committing.